What is theoretical plates in chromatography? Imagine you're trying to separate different ingredients in a mixture, like separating various colors of sand. In chromatography, this process involves two main phases, a stationary phase and a mobile phase. Now let's talk about a key concept that makes this separation possible, theoretical plates. Theoretical plates are hypothetical zones or stages within a chromatography column where the stationary and mobile phases reach equilibrium. Think of each plate as a layer where the solute, the substance you're trying to separate, distributes itself between the two phases. The more of these plates you have, the better the separation will be because there are more opportunities for the solute to equilibrate between the phases. In practical terms, each theoretical plate is like a step in a staircase. As the mobile phase moves through the column, the solute migrates from one plate to the next, constantly redistributing itself between the stationary and mobile phases. This process enhances the resolution of the separation, meaning the peaks on your chromatogram will be sharper and more distinct. The number of theoretical plates in a column is directly related to its efficiency. For instance, in high-performance liquid chromatography, HPLC, more theoretical plates mean better resolution. This is why longer columns or columns with smaller inside diameters and thinner stationary phase films can have thousands to tens of thousands of theoretical plates, significantly improving the separation. The concept of theoretical plates originated from fractional distillation and was later adapted for chromatography by scientists like Martin and Singe. Today, it's a fundamental part of chromatographic theory, helping us understand how to optimize column design and operating conditions to achieve the best possible separations. So, to summarize, theoretical plates are essential in chromatography because they represent the stages where the solute equilibrates between the stationary and mobile phases, leading to more efficient and precise separations. The more theoretical plates, the better the resolution, making it a crucial factor in designing and operating chromatographic systems.